I have a house resolution today that is uh, commending the Department of Public Health for its efforts in implementing a policy requiring pulse oximetry testing of newborns. Mr. Speaker, I ask that this be read in full and uh, open it up for co-sponsors at the end. All right, the uh, clerk will read the resolution. Whereas congenital heart defects are structural abnormalities of the heart that are present at birth, and whereas CHDs range in severity from simple problems such as holes between chambers of the heart to severe malformations such as the complete absence of one or more chambers or valves, and whereas some critical CHDs can cause severe and life-threatening symptoms which require intervention within the first days of life, and whereas, according to the United States Secretary of Health and Human Services Advisory Committee on Heritable Disorders in Newborns and Children, congenital heart disease affects approximately seven to nine of every 1,000 live births in the United States and Europe, and the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention states that CHD is the leading cause of infant death due to the birth defects. And whereas pulse oximetry is a non-invasive test that estimates the percentage of hemoglobin in the blood that is saturated with oxygen and when performed on a newborn within 24 hours after birth, pulse oximetry screening is often more effective at detecting critical life-threatening CHDs, which otherwise go undetected by current screening methods. And whereas many newborn lives could potentially be saved by earlier detection and treatment of CHDs, if birthing facilities of the state were required to perform this simple, non-invasive newborn screening in conjunction with current CHD screening methods, now therefore be it resolved by the Alabama House of Representatives of the Legislature of Alabama that the Alabama Department of Public Health be commended for the efforts the department is making in, to implement a policy requiring that the pulse oximetry testing be completed on all newborns prior to discharge. Be it further resolved that the Alabama Hospital Association, the Medical Association of Alabama, the Alabama Chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Heart Association also be committed for their collaborative, collaborative efforts working in conjunction with the Alabama Department of Public Health to achieve this very important change in policy in the health care of newborns in Alabama. Resolved further that the Alabama Department of Public Health, the Alabama Hospital Association, the Medical Association of Alabama, the Alabama Chapter of the American Academy of Patriotics, and the American Heart Association be presented with a copy of this resolution. Mr. Lee. Uh, thank you. I would uh, ask for open up for co-sponsors. All right, uh, Mr. Lee, I ask that the resolution be adopted under Rule 11 and that all members be added as co-sponsors. Any objection to that motion? All right, uh, the, the resolution will be adopted under Rule 11 and all members will be added as co-sponsors. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All right, I have a message from the Senate. We'll ask the clerk to call up House Bill 17.